Good morning. So we were up super early, 6.30 in the morning. I think I've been up since just before 6. He wouldn't wake up today, no, it's the other way around. For, for the first time on our trip, that had to be woken up. So obviously we did a lot of walking yesterday and the day before as well, so I was tired. I've got a little bit of cold now. You so can hear maybe it. that's got something to do with it. We, be, we actually came down to reception just past 7 o'clock, ready to check out. But those, so these guys literally just got up. <laughs> put the shirts on the back and run downstairs to do this for us. And they quickly made us omelette, they made us paratha, uh, aloo paratha, they um, made us um, masala tea, they've even given a couple of bananas to take with us, and it's a safe journey, long journey that where we're going to. And this can't do it enough for us, so obviously it's a little bit cold down here, so I'm well prepared with hoodie and scarf, I don't want to get sick again. There he is, little Bengal cat running around, so cute. So here we are, uh, just before seven or just before eight in the morning. This is uh, this is where I stayed last night. And uh, someone over there is dying. Someone over there is dying. So we're gonna head the, uh, get on the road. Uh, we've got about five hours of driving ahead of us uh, to Sajat, where the Mendi plantations are. So the plan is today to go to see how the Mendi is grown and cultivated. Oh no, there's someone sleeping in the back of that lorry. Oh no. Mm. So we should be quiet. So yes, we really like this place here. It's like they do with you as you leave. <laughs> yeah, they were incredibly friendly. They just couldn't do they enough didn't for us. us. <laughs> we couldn't do enough. We wanted to go without breakfast because we got a long drive. And they said, no, no, we can't leave you. We can't let you go. Okay, so the things that you see people carrying, the long thin ones is milk um, and some of them take it to sell to other people. The big pots that are wide are usually uh, water, hay is for the animals, the leaves are for the animals and then there's uh, wood for fire. So a lot of people here in the morning burn fires, little fires just to warm themselves up and probably to warm up a little water and whatever. So, um, just so, in case you're wondering what's in them. And we have actually seen some water pumps and we'll try and find yes, one. The initial was saying that people carry the water on their heads and that's because people don't have running water in their homes. So they have to go to where the pump is, those manual pumps, pump the water out, put it in their little pots and carry it back to home. So that's how, that's how they get their water. Um, so hard. We always shout at Maya, we always tell her when she's run, like, Throwing water everywhere especially in the morning. This one here as well, especially brushing her teeth. The yeah, water is I have to have running, running water, yes. otherwise I'll be sick. Yeah. But um, I try not to have it running so much, just like a little trickle. <coughs> He's just weaving around now. We are back in Nadu. Yes. 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 We passed through here. 
the pump here. So here we are at the Henna Factory, um, founded in 1969 by Sri Radha Kishan and Sri Parmanand Hirani cousins. Now in its second and third year, or third generation I should say, the families have grown as Milan Mendy, uh, run by Naresh and Sunil Hirani, and Bright Henna, which is run by cousins Amit and Jeet Hirani. Um, I will do a proper standalone video on my main channel with all that I've learned and all that I saw. Um, here are some snippets of the factory where I learned how henna is crushed, how it's ground into fine powder, um, see how it's packed and um, into the henna fields. I just want to say Ritika and Hugobai, thank you so, so much. A special thank you to you for arranging this for me. Um, an absolute henna artist, dream come true. And to the Hirani family for spending so much time with Abdul and I showing us your facilities and plantations. I can't tell you how happy I am. Like, my wish has been completed. So we were given am a I grand tour. You, okay? we have, we've been given a free gift <laughs> bag as well. And then... Uh, that's the factory here that we were here. You know, it's really nice for them to do so. And then obviously now we're off to somewhere else and then uh, maybe some fields we'll see what's going on. Yeah. And yeah. Happy. I'm so happy. Can you not tell I'm how happy? happy I am? Yes, very, very happy. Cool. You're going to find out in a little while why there's no sound on this portion of the video. I am still really upset with myself about that. Um, more will be explained later. But yeah, we got to the henna fields. We couldn't actually get in. It was locked because it's out of season and they haven't been there um, through the last month or so. So we managed to peer in with our camera and Jid Bai here was so good in telling me all about henna and how they run their business um, and what they do for the local community. So we're in Sojat now. We've been to the hair plantation, the fields, the factory. We met the owners, they were the cousins. They were really nice. Third generation. Really generation, nice third and generation. friendly to us. And they've given us loads of stuff to take with Up us. Dilip. 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 And this is Dilip here, he's showing us around. We're and going to meet a makeup artist now. Yeah, I don't know why I'm going. Maybe I might, I might, I might get a trim. No. <laughs> oh. oh, lovely to meet you. I'm Hi. Nisha. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. 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 Main uh, shopping, shopping road. And we're just coming to the beautiful uh, uh, parlor here. Let's go and have a look and explore. Makeup, cutting, facial, all. Achha, achha. Ladies carpet. Ladies and cleaning uh, on the black and black and yeah. okay. or darkness. Yeah. Eyes, eyes, shadows and darkness. Yes. Today I uh, read on the FB that uh, if you use the uh, cold gate. Cold gate? Yeah. On here. Yeah. It comes off? Yeah. You just keep it on and yeah. it comes off. I just read it uh, today it early in the morning. Okay. मैं फेसियल मैं ब्यूटी से हूँ जेंट्स एंड लेडीज दोनों का और यहाँ पे सोचते में एक मात्र अटैच पार्लर रही है अच्छा हाँ एक एक ओनली फॉर अटैच लेडीज एंड जेंट्स पार्लर और माय न्यू पार्लर इज ऑन अंदर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑन द पाइपलाइन बस टेंड डिड यू हियर दिस इज़ द ओनली पार्लर हियर इन सोजोत दैट डस ल He's the only one. My new parlor under construction on the bus stand. Next market. Okay. So, uh, Next one. Full mm. Oh, very nice. Ma the two of us are actually the two of us. The two of us are just speechless and a bit upset because everything we recorded on the Sony camera. Um, has had the sound off and that's because I ordered a um, mic and set the settings to the mic the mic didn't work properly and so I sent the mic back but I hadn't set the camera to go back to its internal mic and none of us have checked the footage since most of the footage has just been without sound that's what I wanted but all of today's interviews 
that we've taken are all without sound. So what I'm going to do is just try and uh, make some voice notes of all that he said to us. I'm just gutted. I'm so gutted. So uh, we just left uh, Sojot's uh, factory, Mendy factory, and uh, we thought we'd get a bite to eat. We've been on the road for six hours now. And so I said to the driver that uh, I want Daba style food. So we're at this place here now. Say hello. Hi. I'm Wait. so upset with myself. Yeah, you're here. Okay, cool. We're having Daba. Yeah. Is he going to eat with us? Where is he going? Yeah. So here we are. Our first. Taste of Daba food. This is a Hebrew boy here as well. And joining us for the first time. Roadside stuff. Wow. Or something like that, I think. So we got. Let me show you. Bindi. Kufta. What's that one? I don't know. That's dal. And for some roti. And some raita. And we're just waiting for some thandari roti. I'm having ice cream. We're still on the road now um, to Jaipur. Abdul's been snoozing, I've been chatting. <laughs> We've still got a good three hours to go. Probably about. Yeah. A lot of seeing around, man. Yeah, today's vlog is just going to be in the car, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm still so gutted that I didn't record um, the Bright Mendy Company's. Um, owner in sound i'm just I'm, I'm just racking my brain as to how to get around that yeah need some vapor rub too in the car abdul so angry with me idiot no 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 idiot. you have to say idiot idiot <laughs> idiot Oh, uh, how many? Look? Hey, Tim, there's five on the back. One, oh, and a baby. Oh, look at her. She's holding a baby on her arm. Wow. Yeah, so I was trying to block there. Uh, block there. I was trying to look into that tuk tuk, and we reckon there was probably about 18 to 20 people in that tuk tuk. And then the back, one of the mm. girls that you saw was nope. holding a baby. Baby. Wow. Do you want some excitement? You want some excitement? <laughs> Although it doesn't happen with the oh. front one. If you want, if you want some excitement, who are you gonna call? <laughs> that number back there. So here we are. We left Sojat's when roughly about what one o'clock ish. The time has just gone for ten past seven. We're just coming into Jaipur, and unfortunately, it looks like. Just, bumper a, to bumper. just like a normal day going towards Westfield on the A40. It must have been on the road about eight to eight and a half hours. At least. Yeah, it's all good. Oh. This is one of our travel days, but it's one of the most satisfying days. But tomorrow we're going to be on the road again. We got 10 hours of in the car tomorrow to look forward to because we're driving from Jaipur to. To guess uh, where? Oh, that's all uh, I just said. Uh, Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Yeah. Or or where? Uh, Ellsbury. Or or where else? <laughs> so this is Kos Minar, and in the time of I think King Akbar, this was so like a milestone, and this was at that time a place. One of these stones were placed every three miles of current day mile, you know, calculation. So days gone by there was one of them every three miles i think it's coming from may i'm not sure maybe coming from pushkar or ajmer going towards agra so nowadays i think there's only one that's left and it's here just on the outside of jaipur so it's called course minar like a milestone marker now only one left only just one left Four or five left yeah. to warm up, and as we didn't have time, no, it's three minutes now. Almost. Yeah, 
Okay, bye. Okay, bye. This is our hotel for our final hotel stop. We have a traditional palace door. This is a palace. An old Indian family palace. 92 into a hotel. I think it's been a palace since uh, 1860 something, 1869. But yeah, look at the ceilings. I keep showing you. Okay, they're going to be better off seen in the daytime when the lights are off, but Oh my god, it's absolutely huge. We've got a really big room. Tea and coffee station. I think some personal family photographs are here. As well as a safety map of where we are because this place is like a maze. We're surrounded again by a courtyard. This beautiful, beautiful, beautiful painted archway with some more family photographs. Who is this? Beautiful lady. Uh, Abhimanyu Singh, Singhji Alsiza and Kunwarani Kunwa Rani Sanyukta Singhji Alsiza. So these are actually family members. She is absolutely beautiful. Look at them. Beautiful, beautiful couple. She's a newlywed, I believe, in this photo. And then a Bharat procession during the wedding of this young handsome gentleman here wooden carvings on them is there a center in this bed or is it one mattress one mattress is it one mattress yeah good so all the um upmarket hotels we've booked have had the one mattress rather than the two uh more photos family personal photos there another gorgeous triple archway here it's really really nice Beautiful brocade work on the bed runner. And the doors here, beautifully coloured glass and hand painted, I would say just normal mouldings with the gloss painted on top. If I open the door here, one handed, we have the bathroom. Hey! Excuse me, come, get away. Oh, you naughty, how did you get in here? <laughs> yeah, a cheesy bit earlier, hey? Okay, so let's turn the lights off because I hate leaving things on. Yeah. Tomorrow morning we are up at 5 a.m. to get to where we need to be. Um, we'll be leaving the hotel at 6 a.m. And so we've decided to order room service. Need some privacy now. Good night. Absolutely love that he said that he will be putting in bubbles and tags. Mm. I will get somebody put some in bubbles. Yeah. Can you hear, can you see my bubbles in here yeah, now? Yes, mm. I can. Mm. Yeah. We are going to the Taj Mahal. We are going to the Taj Mahal tomorrow. Is that that big temple thing? No, it's a big tomb. Someone buried in there. Oh. The Taj Mahal. Oh. 